Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes tutorial. As you can see, today's topic is Fireside Poet. Fireside Poets are American poets and this was a group of 19th century poets and basically American poets they were. And the school, this, this school was also called School Room or Household Poets as well. So Fireside Poets were called School Room or Household Poets too. Fireside poets जो थे उनको school room poet और household poets भी कहा जाता है and they were associated to New England. So New England was a place, uh, it was a region comprising six states uh, there and uh, it uh, this moment or uh, this school was writing or composing their poems uh, during romantic period. They used domestic themes and messages of morality and decline of this uh, group of school uh, saw in 20th century. So this is basic information about uh, fireside poets. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's see who were those poets. So first poet name is Henry Wordsworth Longfellow, William uh, Cullen, let us see. Okay, so William Cullen Bryant and John Greenleaf Whittier James Russell Lowell, Oliver Wendell Holmes. So these were uh, the people in this group in Fireside Poets and uh, the name of the uh, poet of the group you have gone through. Some people include Ralph Waldo Emerson in this group as well. If you don't know, there is class at 7.30 p.m. for English Literature Daily. So if you have not subscribed channel, you can subscribe channel. Uh, definitely this series will help you. Uh, now let's talk about the name Fireside Poets from where it came. Uh, first it, uh, it was derived from uh, its popularity uh, because their writings were full of entertainment for families gathered around the fire at home. So people used to sit uh, you know uh, fireside and then they used to listen to that uh, their poetry and they used to enjoy it because it was uh, it was too entertaining so people called as fireside poetry and fireside poets but some of other works are there which were written and uh, the name got uh, you know motivated they got motivated for this and uh, they call it fireside poetry so longfellows uh, Longfellow's 1850 it got published. Poetry collection. There was poetry collection. The name of the poetry collection was the side, the seaside, and the fireside. So you can see here the name of the uh, group, fireside poets. So th this is the first work. Second work was by Lowell's book uh, titled Fireside Travels in 1864. So these are possible. Uh, you can say possible work from where they derived the name Fireside. Uh, they added to themselves to poetic uh, conventions. So they used uh, uh, poems with rhymes and standard forms. They used regular meter and rhymed stanzas. Uh, this, uh, this rhyming stanzas helped people to memorize that. So it helped in memorization and recitation at home. So people were sitting at home listening to their poetry and they were memorizing the poetry and they because they were using social themes as well uh, for their poetry so people used to enjoy it they used to be entertained uh, and they liked the poetry so they, they were really famous at that point of time uh, some important works by these uh, writers are songs of hiawatha uh, hiawatha in 1855, this this work was by Henry Wordsworth Longfellow. The another work by the same poet Paul Rabers Wright. The dusra work hai wo hai apka Paul Rabers Wright. Ye 1861 published hua tha. Aur ye poems kyu important thi? Because these poems include history of America. So people used to sing history of America. People had uh, uh, feeling for America because they were Amer Americans. So, History of America, uh, America, they used to sing with these uh, poems. Next is Thana Topsis. Thana, T-H-A-N-A-T-O-P-S-I-S. Thana Topsis, uh, 1817. And this uh, poem is by 
William Cullen Bryant. William Cullen Bryant wrote, uh, composed this poem, and James Russell Lowell, a fable of critics. Fable of critics. It was satire on earlier American poets, and uh, it got published in 1848. So these are important works. Now next uh, writer, if we take Oliver Wendell Holmes and his poem, The Chambered Nautilus. The Chambered Nautilus got published. This poem got published in uh, 1859, and the Atlantis Monthly. This was a magazine. This was a magazine uh, which was published that time monthly, and that was founded with other fireside poets. So other fireside poets were uh, also uh, assisting him. Next is John Greenleaf Whittier. John Greenleaf Whittier wrote a poem, "Snow Bound," in 1866. That was poem. Now let's uh, talk about themes as they were very popular because of their themes. Uh, social issues they used like abolition of slavery they uh, pointed out it through their poetry. Nature they used life and death, and that's why these uh, fireside poets are also called romantics. Okay, so because similarities were there. Uh, romantics were using nature in their poetry. They were writing about life and the individual. So uh, the positive sides of life and nature, uh, romantics used to write, and they they used to um, write about individuals. And these fireside poet poets did the same thing. वो भी यही काम कर रहे थे. Next theme was love, and there is a famous sonnet by Longfellow, and the name of this sonnet was "The Cross of Snow." He wrote his uh, deceased wife, उनकी wife की जो death हो जाती है, उसके बाद वे इस work को लिखते हैं, "The Cross of Snow." Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. If you want to join courses, you can contact on WhatsApp for UGC NET and other TGT PGT. Uh, exams. Uh, hopefully you like the video. Please thumbs up and share with others. See you soon in next video.